Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 1st, 2022. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and bell button to see our new videos and let's get to it. We'll start by looking at the Nasdaq. As you can see, we're up 1.80% today. So yet again, a really good day. We basically bounced from the 50 moving average and we haven't stopped since. At this current stage, we are running into an area that should be offering quite a lot of resistance, um, and we may also get the resistant. We we have been really strong, but at this current stage, we are getting fairly overbought, and we are also above the the top of the Bollinger Band. So a pullback at the beginning of August that should should be um, expected, um, or we will just get very parabolical and the, the drop will become even more severe. So at this current stage, um, roughly 12.9k uh, 12 all the way up towards the 13.4k 13, uh, 13 should be an area of uh, resistance as this was the previous lows here and we also have the previous highs here. After that we have the 200 moving average that will most likely come into play. Uh, as it looks at the moment we have broken out of the channel that we were in which is a fairly bullish move we did pull back a little bit i expected a much bigger pullback we did pull a little bit towards the highs here and then we rallied at the end of the u.s session so major tech companies did, did much better uh, than anticipated some of them did really badly for example snapchat and facebook did really badly but the other major companies did really well even though there's a expected for economic uh, downturn so the market has probably bottom uh, the testing of the uh, 200 moving average in the weekly chart that was probably the bottom of the market uh, roughly 11k uh, but there still, still is to be seen whether or not we get really rejected here at the 200 moving average when we get to that point. Uh, next part of uh, or next uh, third quarter, fourth quarter of 2022 uh, will most likely be fairly bullish. But at this current stage, we are very, uh, very overstretched. So 50 moving average is moving in this direction, and I kind of anticipate a pullback towards the 50 before going higher as we are on the edge of being overbought and overstretched and running into a resistant area. So this would give this market uh, enough basically power in order to go towards the 200 moving average. Breaking below the 50 and then we are looking at uh, back towards 11k most likely. But at this current stage, MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish and RSI is also bullish and as I said on the edge of being overbought. So let's look at S&P 500, Sim, similar, very similar here. Uh, we also have a um, resistant area, give or take, around here that we are about to test. And uh, we are also um, on the edge of being overbought and significantly overstretched. So 200 moving average will most likely move in this direction. 50 moving average, average is kind of um, leveling off and, and becoming more bullish. And at this current stage, it is more likely that we are pulling back towards the 50 moving average before going higher. If we put up below the 50, and then we are most likely going back towards the lows here of 3,740 and 3,640. Um, but at this current stage, we tested a 50 moving average. It offered massive um, support, and therefore a pullback towards the 50 moving average will mostly also offer massive support. Um, as we are overstretched and overbought, it's more uh, it's kind of more likely that we'll have a, a minor pullback before going higher. Breaking above the 200 moving average, then we are most likely going to go uh, basically change this um, uh, this bear market in basically to a, another bull market. But we have tried this before. We back in uh, uh, March. We had this massive rally above the 200 moving average and then a massive drop. Testing the 50 and now it looks like we are going back towards the 200 moving average. But we could end up basically dropping further. further. That, that can be seen. This is several weeks into the future. So let's look at the Dow Jones. And the Dow Jones is even more bullish than the other, um, 
other indices significantly outside of the bullish band and also on the edge of being overbought and due to that i think that we are most likely going to see a minor pullback similar to the nasdaq and the s p 500 um, in the beginning of september 50 moving average moving this direction so it would make sense that we'll pull back and go higher if this offer su offers support yet again 200 moving average moving in this direction and if this continues then we'll mostly have a crossing of the 200 and the 50 moving average and that is a really bullish shine for for the the Dow Jones. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish, but on the edge of being overbought. So let's look at the DAX, and the DAX gapped up and ended above the 50 moving average. So we have basically pierced the 50 moving average, and if we manage to get another green candlestick, um, uh, bullish candlestick here on Monday's session, that is probably very likely that we'll go and test the 200 to 100 average average going forward there's not real not really any major resistant um, um that we are going to run to until we basically get to the 200 moving average which is at 40.6 at this current stage if we break below here then the 20 simple moving average is right underneath so we may pull back to that area and and go higher drop it below here then we almost mostly drop back towards the lows yet again MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is also bullish, with quite a lot of room to the upside. So, Japanese Nikkei, we can see that we did pull back and then rallied yet again. So, we are uh, building basically a base here above the 200 moving average, and that is a, that's a bullish shine. If we manage to take out the double top here, then we may go test this area here, roughly 29k. Uh, um, but that is to be seen. We basically need to take out the highs of uh, Wednesday session of 28k. Uh, MACD is still bullish, the casting is bullish, and also the RSI with a little room to the upside. If we were to drop, 200 moving average will come into play, breaking below that, then the 50, down here 26.9, and then all the way down towards 25.8. If you look at the VIX, VIX continues to uh, drop, and we are kind of making a, a, a fairly bearish channel here in the VIX. So we are approaching the lower part of the channel and therefore it also would make sense that we'll have a rally up towards the upper part, which should be uh, where we'll find the 200 moving average. If we this continues, then we may see this market drop back low and then go even lower. So this would make sense as uh, indices stocks are very overstretched and they basically need to pull back and the VIX is basically uh, there's a negative correlation between indices and stocks so, and the VIX. So when this goes up, they go down and that kind of makes sense at this current stage. If you look at the, the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is also bearish and we're on the edge of being oversold. So the 10 year just continues to drop. We are very overstretched here. And uh, this would also make sense that we'll have a fairly bullish run in the beginning of, of, uh, of August, uh, up towards uh, the 20 simple moving average that's moving this direction. So we may rally up towards the 20 simple moving average and then continue towards the 200 moving average will most likely will be the target here. So if you look at technical indicators here, we can see the MACD is bearish, the Kassig is also bearish, and RSI is also bearish, but we are really on the edge of being oversold. So a rally should uh, be expected at the beginning of uh, August. Um, and as we are basically in a downtrend, then we most likely will also anticipate a rejection here at the 20 simple or the top of the range and and target will most likely be 200 moving average so hope you find this helpful you want to support your channel subscribe and hit the like button and the bell to see our new videos good luck and good weekend